everyone, I'm Ryan with Pile. Today I'm going to go over the setup and features for our new PLCM DVR7 HD rear view mirror monitor and dual camera system. So, Pile actually has two products that are very similar. It's going to be the DVR7 and the DVR7G. The main difference between the DVR7 and the 7G is going to be ease of installation. The 7 is going to be a little bit easier of a setup. The DVR7 is going to come with a strap on the screen, so that means you can place it over your existing mirror without replacing it or anything. So to install this thing, you're not even going to have to touch the fuse box on your vehicle. It's the so with this guy right here, you're not even going to have to touch the fuse box on your vehicle. The screen's going to be powered by a cigarette adapter, so you can just plug it right in and go from the start. Another installation friendly feature is going to be the single cord camera. So a lot of the systems will have a separate cord for power, for ground, for the video feed, and even an input selector. This one's going to be a single cable that you run from the front to the back. In the back you will have to power the camera, but that's going to be standard with any backup system. So check it out up close here. We have both straps, built-in speaker, and the adjustable camera on the back. It's going to stick out the side there. So right now it's a real bright sunny day and I can see both of those feeds clear. Wow, that's impressive. The reverse mirror itself has a nice blue tint to it. You can see my face. Let's adjust it for the back view. But what we have here is a shot from the camera pointing front with a little pip screen of my rear view. So we have a little pop-out control panel here. There, I can switch between the cameras. So I have front, front with pip on the back, back with pip on the front, and just back. So this unit actually has a built-in battery. So it'll power off when you turn your car off. So what this built-in battery allows you to do is if your car is bumped or jostled, the screen will detect the motion, boot up, and trigger a recording right away. So right now I'm recording both front and back. So if someone was to bump me and I was not here, I would have their license plate on record. You can change the mode. If I had any recorded files, this is where I could play them back, right from the device. We also have a bunch of settings we can go through. So here I can change the video quality and uh, 1080p, checked by default. But if you need to save space, there's also 720p and VGA. You can set the video time length, so if a recording is triggered, set the maximum you want it to be. You have motion detection, parking monitor, and you can enable these features here. You can also adjust the screen settings. So we got white balance, contrast, exposure. So that's all there is to it. For a complete list of specs and features, head over to Pyle's website at www.pileaudio.com.